first today, Florida's governor gave the boot to Palm Beach County's election supervisor. Susan Booker today is out. She was the central figure in the recent troubles that plagued the county in the days after the midterm election. The now's Matt Sesney live for us at the elections office with more on the governor and reaction. Shannon, I can tell you that we're being told Susan Booker is planning to challenge this move by the governor and is actually talking with an attorney today. The news of this suspension seemed to happen suddenly today with word slowly leaking out late this morning. By this afternoon, by lunchtime, Governor Ron DeSantis was in downtown West Palm Beach making the announcement. He called the county inept during the recount process and compared Booker's leadership here to the Keystone Cops. Governor DeSantis says Palm Beach County did miss deadlines in those vote recounts, and those recounts stretched into December as tabulation machines here failed. So I think that there were a train of problems, and I think it was not just there was a mistake here, a mistake there. It really tarnished the image of the state of Florida, and I think unfairly. And so I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. All right, the governor has appointed West Palm Beach attorney Wendy Link to take over the supervisor of elections position. She will hold that position, DeSantis says, until or at least through the 2020 election. She just arrived here at the building, the headquarters here, just about 20 minutes ago. We're gonna have more on who she is coming up at five o'clock. And we're also at that time gonna hear from Democrats here in Palm Beach County who are outraged over this move and are calling it politically motivated. We're live in suburban West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney for the now. South Florida. Matt, thank you. Governor DeSantis also announced today that he has officially acknowledged the resignation of former Broward County Supervisor of Elections, Brenda Snipes. Snipes' resignation, you may remember, went into effect January 4th. A hometown hero is being remembered today. A soldier who grew up in Palm Beach Gardens has been identified as one of four Americans killed in a suicide bombing this week in Syria. And now's Ryan Hughes has been speaking with loved ones and former coaches today. Ryan. And Shannon Chief Warrant Officer Jonathan Farmer was a decorated soldier who died defending his country. Today, his family making their way up to Dover, Delaware to pick up his body at the Dover Air Force Base. But back here at home, you can see he is being honored and remembered at his old high school. He's a Green Beret. He's been in the Army about 13 years. An understandably upset and soft-spoken Duncan Farmer speaking to our partners at the Palm Beach Post about his son, his hero, Army Chief Warrant Officer 2, Jonathan Farmer. Good man, good son, good father, good husband. Good friend. The Department of Defense announcing the 37-year-old died from his injuries after a suicide bombing in northern Syria on Wednesday. Farmer served six overseas tours and was awarded the Purple Heart and three Bronze Star Medals. It was like a kick in the stomach. I just, at first, couldn't wrap my head around it. Farmer graduated from the Benjamin School in North Palm Beach in 1999. He was a talented athlete on the basketball and baseball teams, and 20 years later, his legacy is easily remembered on campus. John uh, never met someone that he wasn't a friend with. Uh, you immediately were drawn to John because of his kindness, his compassion. And John does leave behind a wife and four kids. He comes from a military family and his neighbors tell me he was just a type of guy that you always wanted to be around. Coming up at five o'clock, we will have much more reaction. But for now, we are live in North Palm Beach. Ryan Hughes for the now South Florida. It's been almost a month since hundreds of thousands of federal workers have been out of work because of the shutdown. The now is Corey Rangel talking with a mother who's furloughed from one job, and now she's worried she'll be furloughed from her second job, too. This is my mortgage. This dude. Here's my gas bill. Audrey Murray.